we have a extremely spec cruise craft 720. Uh, we're gonna go through some options of this boat to make it a little bit unique. It's got some really cool gear in it. So we'll have a walk through, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Stress-free anchor winch, common practice for us. We use those all the time. Um, they work, and that's why we use them. You can see the boat catch, which is the trailer catch above the, uh, the bow wire there. We'll show you something pretty cool about that in a moment. Up on the roof, we have twin Narva LED light bars, our Garmin GPS 24XD tra uh, heading sensor. Uh, got a solar sheet in the middle, a Garmin Phantom radar, our twin GME whip antennas, our Fleur M232 night vision camera. Got an anchor light behind that, and the antenna in the middle of those two is for our Wi-Fi, which got in-house Wi-Fi on the boat. On our rocket launcher, we've got the double flutes on the front and back, the uh, the uh, light uh, floodlights on there as well. You can see we have the Relax uh, 450 bases for the outriggers. Got the side clears made there with the zip at the end of the side clears, which is for the um, storm cover. Over at the trailer over here, we have the stainless steel stone guards, the boat catch on the top there, and the beautiful easy tow aluminium. Um, this is the perfect trailer for the boat. Works, works an absolute treat. Got the new 300 XCB-2, which is the uh, pearl white inbuilt steering. Um, got some, can't see under there, but some Linko trim tabs and some underwater ocean LED lights. Up on the top here, we've got the bait board, the premium bait board with the knife rack, the lid, the um, fresh water tap, and the deck wash hose connection to it. As we jump in, we'll go forward first. One of the things I said was pretty cool about the boat catch, is you can actually see it. We've mounted a camera under the bow sprit, so we can actually watch the boat catch connect to the trailer when we drive the boat back on. Looking at that screen, you think, geez, that's pretty big. That's 22 inches, so we've got a 22 um, Garmin uh, in the middle there, we've got a Fruno 587 on the top there, and we've got another Garmin 10 inch at the back inside the bait board, which we'll get to in a minute. So with this guy here, the other thing that we have is, so it says boat catch there, we'll flick it over to the night vision. Here it is. So this is, boom, move it around. You can see even in the daytime, it's pretty impressive. Um, we've got our normal GT56 UHD transducer. We have a one kilowatt uh, Airma through hull for the Furuno. Got the battery charger for the phone. Got the uh, wiper, anchor winch, new Yamaha CL5 gauge. This has the joystick control with the Yamaha autopilot. It's got uh, the new Yamaha binnacle control box in the blacked out dash, which looks really sharp. As we follow up, we've got the GME, the light on the top there, and the Fusion Apollo. Um, we sort of skim over the, joy the joystick at the end, but the joystick will go through a little bit more once we're in the water. It's got the upgraded steering wheel and the stainless steel with the knob on it. On the passenger side, we have the 110 litre fridge freezer, um, which we'll open up just here. Split lid, and on the driver's side, it's an Esky 110 litre split lid. They look identical, but obviously you can see the difference with the motor. Um, we'll go forward for a moment. We've got the full centre bunk in the uh, in the cabin here. We also have full Wi-Fi on board, which you can see the connections for it there. And we have our pie warmer on this side. One thing that Cruisecraft have done recently is they've made the centre bunk a full centre bunk instead of stopping here. It continues all the way to the transom door. Speaking of which, no one does it better. Cruisecraft have done an awesome job with their transom door, or with their uh, cabin doors. We've got the shade extension up on the roof here. So what we do is we have a thumb screw at the side. Loose. And loose. Again, you won't find a better shade extension. As we work back, we've got our removable six in one stand up rod holders. Uh, we've got an underfloor plumb tanks either side. We have our battery system just here. Rear lounge, Garmin 8410. Our switch panels, the only thing that works in the back is listed here at the back here. So things like deck wash, bait tank pump, our underfloor plumb tanks, our underwater lights. We've got slimy tubes on board with this one. We also have 
our tackle drawer here. The snapper racks are done extremely well. Um, so you can see that they, they're not the gated ones, they're the closed type of snapper rack, but they also just fold in and out perfectly from here. Sea deck the whole way across, on the top decks, on the floor, uh, inside the cabin as well. This 8410 at the back here is full connectivity to the one at the front. So anything we do from the front will work at the back as well. So if we want our GPS screens here, no problem bo. If we want to run our boat catch as an example, or the night vision, also happy days, works no problem. Um, live bait tanks topping up at the moment, just checking that over. There's our slimy tubes. You can see the inbuilt steering on the Yamaha there. Such a beautiful motor. Um, hand wash on the top. Deck wash has got a little handle here. Heaps of water pressure. We've got um, the blacked out internal hard top, which looks fantastic. Access is that uh, hatch in the middle there is access into where our radars and all that sort of gear is. Side clears are a really nice option on these as well. This keeps that boat a little bit warmer down here and stops the spray getting into that rear lounge a little bit. It's an absolutely beautiful boat. We'd love to show you through. We specialize in these cruise crafts here at Streak and Marine. And if you're interested and you have any questions, please contact us at our Melbourne showroom or via our comments. Thank you.